Hi guys! We do a lot of craft projects at our house and my kids love when I make something that they get to play with. Our DIY rain sticks are still one of their favorite toys. <laughs> this week we built our own super cool kaleidoscopes and today I'm going to show you how you can make your own with just a few supplies. All you'll need to get started is an empty toilet paper roll, colored beads, a piece of clear plastic, a to-go container works perfect, tape, washi tape, scrapbook paper, and a sheet of Mylar cardstock. First, we're going to cover our cardboard roll with some scrapbook paper to dress it up. You could also use fabric or wrapping paper. Next, we're going to create the inside of the kaleidoscope with our reflective paper. I'm using this Mylar cardstock, but any mirrored paper will work as well. If you're using an empty toilet paper roll, the measurements of your material should be four by six. Then make two folds to create a triangle and secure it with a piece of tape. Now take your triangle and slide it into the cardboard tube. And you actually have an open-ended kaleidoscope that's really fun to look at different images with and a great option if you don't have a lot of time. But I'm gonna finish this one off with an end cap so that we have a fully functioning kaleidoscope. Take a piece of your clear plastic, I cut this off the bottom of a to-go container, and trace two circles using your cardboard tube. Cut them out along the inside of your line. You may need to trim the first one down a little more and pop it in the kaleidoscope, making sure it lays flat. Now we're going to use a second cardboard tube to create the rotating mechanism. Cut off a piece about an inch wide, make a second cut down the middle, fold it over about a half an inch, and secure with a piece of tape. It should fit securely in the end while still being able to rotate. Then take your second plastic circle and place it on top of your end cap and secure it with clear tape. Finally, I'm gonna finish it off with some washi tape to give it a cleaner look. And now it's time to add some beads to the end cap. Attach it back to the base, and ta-da! You have a fully functioning, oh my goodness, this is cool, kaleidoscope. Strangely enough, I don't think my kids had ever played with a kaleidoscope before. And they were just amazed. Mommy, this looks so cool. We loved moving it slowly over a piece of patterned scrapbook paper and seeing all the cool designs it created. I see you, Dexter. And we also had so much fun experimenting with different items and seeing what patterns they would make. You are getting sleepy. But even a backdrop as simple as a tree or some grass creates a really cool effect. <gasps> Calvin, I see a boo. All right, guys, we had so much fun making and playing with our kaleidoscopes. I hope you'll give it a try. Tell me in the comments below what other DIYs you'd like to see, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, guys! Bye-bye!